Hello, this is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute here in Rochester, Michigan. Beautiful autumn day here in October. Actually, today is about 70 degrees. Wish I was out there. Maybe I'll get a, a glimpse of the outdoor in a little bit here. But the message today that I want to share is part of our, our foundation that we work on here at Longevity Health Institute, where we're really building a six-point model. And you've heard me talk about this before, but the one I don't think I put enough attention to to at least the public. And this is why please subscribe, <laughs> hit that button, um, share this with others, is because what I'm about to tell you will make not just your life better and happier, but make you truly healthy and can also impact others around you and make generational change in health and happiness. And really this whole thing, what is really, really true health and happiness, it's measured in the quality of your thoughts and then the peace in your mind so 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 important in health okay and living long and well but in our six point model and you've heard me talk about this many times we you know address hormones genetics your gut health and nutrients how you detoxify structural issues in the body okay but we also address and talk about the mind body connection now when i say that i mean anything from your thoughts your worries your concerns uh, because they affect your autonomic nervous system and your vagus nerve that go to all your organs, okay? But also the stress response in the body is so impactful and sometimes we're not, we don't even have enough awareness with it, okay? And today, and this is why it's on my mind, today I had a visit with somebody that was new and a lovely uh, new patient that was referred from another patient that had told me about she had high energy and life was good but she had this really negative thing happen to her and it, it caused some you know health issues and she fought through even those and then she developed cancer in her life and fought through that and got through that about eight years ago but here is the issue is she is a high achiever high driver and that is affecting her nervous system i believe and we're testing it to show but after i really do our deep dive you know discussion with her on a new new patient visit that's about an hour is we really dig into and get to know you okay besides just the lab work you know anybody can just draw blood and tell you you know some chemistries okay we get to know each other <laughs> and hopefully have a little fun and create a little bit of perspective and knowledge and and educate you but we try to have a little bit of fun too but what I was trying to get to know with her is why was she really getting some of these stressors, okay? And there's more to just this one point in, in the six point model for her, but she had running high nervous system always, okay? And where I want to bring this conversation to is things that, you know, the, 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 the biggest unhappiness I see in, the, in my practice and with patients. And um, even when they're doing well, they come in and they say, hey, my energy's up my gut's better and there's just this sliver of they're just unhappy or they're I can tell they're fighting something or they're defeated or maybe they're a little angry maybe they're a little agitated okay um, but really true happiness starts in our thoughts and having the quality of those thoughts and peace and balance in our mind and I really believe this is not appreciated enough. And one of, I'll just say this, my, my uh, <laughs> um, professors, one of my uh, go-tos, one of my, you know, um, the masters of part of my functional model is a PhD, Bruce Lipton. Love Bruce Lipton, read Bruce Lipton books. Here's why. Some people think he's a little quacky in that. Smart genius, talks a lot about quantum physics, but it's about how energy and intention and your mindset affect your health and the science behind that. There is science behind this. So we can improve our health, improve our immunity by the right mindset and by good thoughts and healthy mind balance, okay? And again, most of your conversations, you heard me say this, are between your own ears, so they're not with others. So that's got to be in chi. <laughs> that's got to be in balance. That's got to be, you know, coming from a good place. And I, again, when I find and I see these people that aren't just there yet in a happy, balanced way, it can show up in sickness. And sometimes it might just be a cough or cold or allergies or chronic things like this. Sometimes it might be, unfortunately, an autoimmune condition. Sometimes it actually might be cancer. But you got to get your head right, okay? 
And often some things and things, tips I want to give you is sometimes the challenge is when I really get to know somebody and they talk about some of their disappointments in life and some of their struggles, whether it's a relationship or some event that happened and what have you. But often the problem is I find rarely the problem. Um, 99% of it or close to that is in their head and the overthinking, okay, and they're not getting to uh, whether it's self-acceptance or a peace place with it and you know either letting it go or taking another approach and just doing it but they they ruminate and that rumination can make you miserable but also can make you unhealthy and just like the opposite can happen the good thoughts the positivity the acceptance the love can actually bring you not just joy and happiness but health okay my six point model, these points affect each other, okay? Hormones will affect the gut and the gut will affect the hormones and your brain health will affect sleep that affects the gut and your nutrient pools that are bad because of the gut will f affect your genetics and turn on those genetics and the epigenetic influence that causes disease. I could go on and on, but that's why I have this model. But it starts here with the right mindset, the right mentality, being positive, okay? Um, making peace with the past, okay? Um, you know, because all we truly, truly have is right now to accept and love and live and do the right thing and create balance in our life, okay? And we all deserve love and need to be heard, but rumination and overmentation, okay, can cause illness. And I've seen it in the practice and sometimes it takes decades to express itself. Sometimes there are little conditions, little diseases. Sometimes they're big, like the big C word, okay? But remember, health starts in the mind, okay? And true health and happiness is in the quality of your thoughts. That is a big part of my six-point model, is working on your mindset and working on making past peace with the past and being healthy, excuse me, happy. <laughs> And that will drive health, I promise you. The other parts I'll put together for you. <laughs> I'll just direct this a little bit, okay? This is Dr. Lorenz here accepting new patients always. Me and my practitioners, Dr. Abood, our three, it's comical, our three Lorenz, amazing nurse practitioners. And, um, and then we have Shannon and Alex, our PAs. Um, and, uh, but just, you know, amazing group we got here doing the best with you using this model to create true health and happiness and thriving and really doing the best in prevention okay prevention is key okay being reactive is you know old school medicine okay that's sick medicine okay we do be we're proactive we're wellness based and then remember true health and happiness starts in the mind this is dr lorenz longevity health institute be well enjoy each other